Hey guys, I'm JMac. This is Raid Shadow Legends, and still got the fusion event going on. A lot of other little events going on. So let's see. I think it's the Hero's Path. I'm gonna pull Soul Stones for it. Then they have the extra Lego event, and I think I'm close to Mercy. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can. Hopefully, I just have to pull one or two to get the extra legendary. But if I pull all ten, that's fine. Uh kind of figure I'm going to skip the next fusion uh, just because I've spent a lot of resources these last couple months so I'll try to get restocked but let's see what we got going here all right Elagias which I have a six star awakening so I can sell that Crocmar I do not have give me something something I can use I don't see anything there. All right. Gamoran. Atatsu. Um, I might be able to use that Eris. Four star. Give me a six star something. Oboro. Okay, I might be able to use that. Another croc mar, at least it's three star. Okay, um, let me get these collected. All right, so that lets me buy another immortal. All right, so let me stop for a second. All right, so I can use Hotatsu. So I really don't use him anymore um, other than Faction Wars. Okay, Oboro. Play around her a little bit in Hydra. Um, I know there's other areas of the game I could probably use her. And then yeah, four star Eris. I do have to be careful with Eris. She's on my clan boss team. If I get her six star, that's gonna mess with her speeds and I'd have to change some of her gear out. But I don't think the four star is gonna mess anything up. And then Skimphos, all right. At least that first little run, I got a, through a few I could use, and I'll worry about the rest later. Um, I can do, I probably need to sell some of these off. So, all these one and two stars for sure, even the three stars, I think even four stars. For the rares, I've been saving the fives and definitely the sixes. I'll probably clean up a few more after a while, but just to make room. All right, let's see. Eight left. Well, let me know if you're pulling soul stones. You got anything cool, anything you can use? Um, I haven't looked hard enough at the fusion events to know if this hero's path was necessary to complete it a hey, mythical two star all right um if you have to do the hero's path to complete it i think it's crappy with the summoning and the soul stone events but if it's just an extra way to do it i guess i'm okay with that um i like that they're giving us a lot of different events um, a lot of them have been piggybacking off of other ones but i still think they could do better with rewards and how much you have to do because they will open it i've enjoyed the curse city but opening that up has you know it's just more time you got to spend in the game get some more of those but again curse city i have enjoyed that i think that was a great addition to the game all right, Nia, I might be able to use that. I think I've got a two or three star on her, possibly. But I have started focusing more on the Iron Twins. I've uh, been trying to do my six keys a day. Hey, five star Gorgorab, but I don't think I have him. Laura, Loriaka. I do not have. Anyways, keep my thoughts are going crazy right now. So much going on. Um, oh, five star Chamel. All right. 
I'd like to get another one of him for Hydra. So anyways, I think I'm planning on skipping the next fusion. And then focusing on Iron Twins to keep Soul Stones coming because it, it does make a difference. So yes. And I tell you what, it's, it's kind of fun when you can pull, you know, 30, 40, 50 of these things instead of just five at a time, three at a time. Because I actually feel like I'm able to get a lot <laughs> out of this. All right. Uh, Archmage, I don't use that often. Um, Faction Wars, I know he's great champion. He can be used in a lot of different places. But that's one thing I like about the Curse City is... It's forcing you to use champions that you don't use all the time. So you don't feel like you get that awesome, amazing champion. And it's just going to sit there and do nothing because you don't have a place for it. Because usually by the time you get in game, you've got your team set. And, you know, you may get that one awesome champion that just overrules everybody. Towering Titan. Uh, but anyway, usually you already have your team set. So, you know, I get last few Legos I've gotten are Legos I wouldn't really use anywhere. All right, so Towering Titan was new for me. I just pulled from my pulls before on Voids. So I'll bump him up to a five-star. All right, so that's cool. Um, let's go to the extra Lego event. Can we do it first time? And I think I'm close to Mercy. I don't remember how many shards I've pulled since I've gotten a Lego, but I feel like I should get one. Trum or he might be new. He doesn't look familiar to me. I already know I had Farrakhan. Come on, let's see some gold. Is this it? Because I saw the 4500. Yes. Oh, okay, so who did I get there? Uh, is that Nari? He looks new. Okay, Longbeard. What can Longbeard do? Oh, A1 attacks one enemy, ignores shield block damage. Okay. A2 attacks one enemy, places a weekend. So as long as you have enough accuracy, it's just going to place it for two turns. That's cool. Then the A3, ally attack. All right, can go to a fourth turn cooldown. When ascended, Attacks one enemy with four allies, increases damage inflicted by allies by 20%. That's pretty good. Then his aura increases crit rate in dungeons. All right, and then Nari, so that would be a dupe for me. Um, I think he was okay. See, he can still above. Okay, he does the decrease uh, accuracy and decrease resistance. So that does come in handy. Go to a three-turn cooldown. And then he can do the provoke and counter attack. So with his provokes and counter attacks and then counter attacking with the A1, he has a chance of stealing a lot of buffs. So like I said, he's he's okay. Um and then his uh passive can transfer one random buff from an enemy to an ally. And then accuracy increases. So he I think he can be handy. So that is the end of my event then. So, hey, got some soul stones I can use. I got an extra Lego. Let me do this before I forget. So, Nari is a dwarf. There we go. All right, now, how many points did that get me? 40,000. So, um, I don't know if I necessarily have to go, I better get him just in case I miss an event. Of course, we still got two days left. I think I may, I think I may end up going down this right side. To get the fragments. And then I guess it would probably be worth 
I guess I need to look to see what events I've got. So that's probably all the action for this video. I'm just going to go through and kind of talk to myself about, okay, so I've got three. I'm working on the fourth one. Talk to myself about the fragments and what I need. Um, okay, I'm only 25 fragments away from getting the fourth Bovos I need. And then what events and tournaments are there left? I know there's still more coming up. Um, okay, the Spider Tournament, I think I've maxed out. That same Devil Tournament won't work. Tag Team doesn't work for this. So yeah, I've done Spider Tournament. I was thinking there was another event. Come on. <sighs> so what, some, sometimes this comes through. Not very often, going quick. Usually it just lags, even when I'm not filming so bad. All right, events, dungeon divers. Okay, then artifact, have I got it yet? If not, I'll be able to, oh yeah. So I've already maxed out artifact. Um, the dungeon divers. So it would be nice to not have to worry about dungeon divers because I'm gonna burn through more gems for energy. And since I just need Let's just go ahead and go down here. I just need the 25 for sure. And then my question will be whether or not I want to try to get these awakenings. Um, and, uh, you know, 40,000 you think's a lot until you start hitting some of these 4,000 marks. So now from here, I've got choices. Um, I just need, so that's going to take 7,000, which would leave me at three sixteen thousand, And then that would take another 3,000 to get the energy and a key, or I could just do a key there. Um, I mean, it'd be cool to get the awakening for him, but... I honestly don't know where all I'm going to use him at. Um, I may rather just try to go get a Lego book. But I don't know if I have enough. So that'd be 10, 11. That's going to be up to 18. Yeah, I think. I don't know what I want to do. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I've got two days left the event. I know I did want the 25, so I didn't have to hit that dungeon divers hard and use up a lot of my gems. So I think I'm just going to wait. I would love to get a three-star awakening, but like I said, I don't know how often and where all I'm going to use the uh, champ at. So I might as well is... I'm getting champions, getting points for it. Summon him. Then I don't think that this is going to last long enough to hit the uh, next clan versus clan. So I could probably go ahead and do him, then get. I don't know if you get more points. Is it from shards or just summoning? Um, yeah, I guess you got to do it from shards. I was hoping to get more points from just getting champions anywhere. But okay, I'll have to think about what I want to do here. The Awakenings are cool, but they're only worth having on champions that you're definitely going to use. And I I don't I don't remember if he was somebody that I was going to use. I just wanted to get him because he's a holiday event. Okay, so he can do the freeze. So I'm sure there's a place for him. Um, as far as the freeze goes, between Newt and Ninja and Shiramani, I've got freezes down. I may just have to watch some videos and see where other people are using him at. But all right. I think I am happy with today. Um, definitely going to try to start saving up soul stones a little better. Do more at a time. 
And then I got my extra Lego. So Merry Christmas to me. I hope you guys have I, just as much luck as I did. I'm totally thrilled with what I got. So whether you're doing soul stones, shards, hope you get something fun, something new. Hope you uh, have a blessed day. And we'll see you next time. Bye.